it's Mrs. Kramer here. Welcome back. This week, we're going to focus on artist Vincent Van Gogh. Maybe you've seen some of his artwork already. Maybe you're familiar with his Starry Night. For this project, we're going to focus on some other paintings known as sunflowers. You see one right behind me. Van Gogh made his paintings seem alive with color. His colors are so bright and beautiful, you can almost smell the flowers he painted with a bright sun. His brush strokes give everything a feeling of movement from his trees, his stars, and people to feel alive. And maybe more than any other artist, Van Gogh's feelings came out in his paintings. That's why Vincent Van Gogh is one of the world's greatest artists. This type of artwork is known as a still life. A still life could be a drawing or a painting, but it's a collection of objects on a table. So my objects on the table right here would be a vase filled with flowers, just like Vincent Van Gogh's sunflower paintings. And for this project, I'm going to show you some tips and tricks using simple lines and shapes to draw your own vase filled with flowers on a table. So if you have any um, flowers at home in a vase, you can uh, get those out with permission and use them as inspiration when we begin to draw. They can be real flowers or they can be fake artificial flowers like the ones I have here. Let's get started. In the middle of my paper, I'm going to draw the letter U to represent my vase. So a nice big letter U, leave some space on top. Right above the letter U, add some circles, maybe about four of them, right across the top, and those circles will represent the flowers. Now when I look at Van Gogh's painting, I see tall flowers in the back. So right above those four circles, I'm gonna draw three big circles again to represent flowers. I'm gonna take a break from my flowers and come down and focus on my vase. If you look on his, he's got a little line there that separates the two colors, and it looks like a smiley face. If you like that, you can draw your own smiley face on there. If we zoom in on his flower painting, you'll notice that he signed his name on the vase. Again, if you like that idea, you can sign your name or anywhere on your paper. Now, when we look at our vase and our flowers to be, there's something a little strange. It's like it's floating. So here's a little trick, drawing two little lines behind the vase. And I like to say, draw, 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 jump, draw, 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 stop. And voila, just with two little lines, you've actually drawn the vase on the table. Now let's go back up to the top and finish these circles that kind of look like marshmallows. I like to add another circle inside, and now it looks like a donut and then go around and add petal shapes. They can look like sunflower petals where they overlap and repeat all the way around the edge. If your flower petal runs into the flower in front, just skip it. Just draw as much as you would be able to see. Again, start with another circle inside, looks like a donut, and then add some more petals around the next flower. Another sunflower trick is to draw tall, pointy triangles. And again, if you run into another flower, you can stop drawing. If you fall off the paper, that's okay. Just fill in all the petals that you think you'd be able to see. Maybe my next one will have a different shaped petal, more of a rounded flower petal. Again, you can look at his painting to be inspired or come up with your own ideas. If you'd like to try a wilting flower, here's a little trick. Inside your circle, draw a frowny face and then add small little sad wilting petals from the edge there. And you can even draw some on the table to show that it is slowly wilting and dying. Now go back and finish up all those circles you have for your flowers. Have fun with this. Think about how you can be creative with the center of the flower. It doesn't have to be realistic. You can add some interesting patterns and lines to really jazz up your flowers. And if you have fake flowers or a real bouquet of flowers, look to those for inspiration to draw your still life. And the last part, you may be wondering, where are my stems? So look at your flower vase and the big flowers above is where you're going to have a little bit of space to draw a couple of lines to represent the flower stems. You won't see all the stems because some of them are tucked in close to the vase, but some are sticking out at top. 
so take a look and see what makes sense for yours. Coloring is optional for this project. If you have a Sharpie, you can outline your pencil marks and also grab anything from your art kit, markers, crayons, colored pencils. I look forward to seeing your still life masterpieces. Fun fact, this original painting by Vincent van Gogh actually is in Philadelphia, Pennsylvania, not too far away from us. If you ever have the chance to visit the Philadelphia Museum of Art, I hope you get to see it. It is amazing and beyond words in person.